What's up, people? Good morning to you. It seems like I'm always driving, and I pretty much am. I got this car for another couple of days. This is the 2018 Hyundai. What the hell is this? This is the 2018 Hyundai Ionic. Astonishingly good gas mileage. And with most Hyundais, the build quality is off the chart. Just past a Prius right there. I'm headed north on PCH. I'm going up to Channel Islands. And it's kind of an exciting time because I just finished all the drawings for the Channel Islands Maritime Museum new coloring book. It took about a month or so with the schedule that I currently have. This will be the first time that Pat Hart, who runs the museum, sees these drawings. She saw all the roughs a little bit more than a month ago, but now they're all finished. They look freaking awesome. In two weeks, we'll pretty much have a finished book. And if you go to that museum, which you will, and you must. You'll be able to pick up a copy. See how that works? <laughs> no. We also have several other books coming in the next couple of months, and those are gonna be awesome too. Stay tuned to the end of the vlog because I'll give you some more information about this here cool Ionic. finished as far as all the illustrations. Uh, there's one that is a maze. And he's going to make me do this <laughs> on a time basis and no problem. Now you picked it out. You wanted to do it. I did it under three yeah. minutes. So yeah, I'm under pressure minutes. Minutes. Yeah, so a lot of pressure. So I'm going to put the phone out and we're going to time you on this thing and see how well you do. Okay? <laughs> all right. <laughs> It's just a warning. That's a dead end. You did it. I did, yay! <laughs> she did it in about 30 seconds. with Pat. We're all set on the narrative of the, of the book, the, the order in which the illustrations are going to happen. And we settled on a cover. Next stop, create the finished book. begins an epic journey across Los Angeles. Not because it's really all that exciting or anything, it's just that, you know, there's a variety of things I gotta do for Kathy. And for myself, I got my bike in the back, I uh, gotta go get it fixed. I run out to Hollywood, pick up some, some glue for Kathy. Then I gotta go way out to San Fernando and uh, get so much foam, an ungodly amount of foam for this project that Kathy is working on. Uh, she's building three three things, they're not costumes, they're oversized, lightweight props for Ellen's new game show. If you guys have seen what that game show is, you can Google that and you can see what, kind of what she's up to. But while I'm out and about, and since I'm taking you guys with me, if I can spot some cool cars, it'll make the drive that much cooler. But I'm in the vlog rocket, so let's do this.
out driving pretty much all day today. Had to do all those errands for Kathy. I didn't spot one cool car the entire time. It really pissed me off, so much so that I had to come back and take this out for a spin. The world is not cool unless there's cool cars in it. So the book for the Channel Islands Maritime Museum is now complete. I just finished doing the cover. You wanna, you wanna see the cover? This is the cover uh, for the new book. I think it's pretty cool. It's gonna be very, very fun when it comes out. Um, should have some hard copies in the next couple of weeks. A real blast to work with Pat. She's very um, uh, passionate, very excited about this project. It's turned out really good. Now, I told you guys I would uh, give you a little bit of the stats from uh, the Hyundai Ionic that I was driving, the plug-in hybrid. But the interesting thing is, I kind of want to compare between the, the that Hyundai and the Mustang Fastback, the Mach 1, that I'm driving also from the Murphy Museum. Now, this is not really uh, old versus new. It's not really uh, uh, crummy versus good. It's, it's more like uh, cool versus smart. Classic cars are uh, uh, one of those things that people start to collect, especially this, this Mach 1. Uh, these are not necessarily cheap to get nowadays. But if that is your only car, then you know, more power to you. It's not, like I said, it's not necessarily not smart to have it, but um, uh, it's it's kind of an interesting uh, juxtaposition. So let's talk about this for a second. 2018 Hyundai Ionic plug-in hybrid. Uh, it's about a $25,000 car. Uh, when you sit in this thing, it, it definitely feels solid because Hyundai products are, are always, uh, well, they just have a really good fit and finish. It has a really good feel. They don't necessarily have the most unique design language. Uh, some of their higher end cars do, certainly the Genesis does. And, and this car is targeted towards the, the Prius, which is obvious. It looks a lot like that kind of car. And although it's silver, it's, you know, it's not necessarily the most exciting car in the world, but it's a very smart car because uh, the mileage on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I, I didn't even use the electric part. I just used the gas part. Never got a chance to plug it in just because because of all the stuff that's going on, but I had about 600 miles on it just from the from the gas motor. I mean, if you play your cards right, you will never go to the gas station at all, hardly hardly ever. Now it says it's a 52 miles per gallon. Um, I think that that's probably conservative. It felt like a lot more than that, but but still, I drove it like crazy. Uh, and they just took the car back today, so it's gone for the uh, for the week. Now let's compare the Mustang Mach 1, 1971, smart over here cool over here. When the Mustang came out, it came out with three different options, at least in the 71 year, uh, between the Venturi, the Cobra Jet, and the Boss Motors. Range from about 210 horsepower up to 375. You can get a whopping muscle car, something that's pretty fast, pretty enjoyable, for around $3,500 to $4,000. Compare that to the $24,000 Hyundai, which is out now. And lots of people think that $24,000 is a cheap car. Kind of blows my mind. But one thing's for sure, when in, in, in another 30 years, uh, I'm not sure if this Hyundai will be around, but I definitely think that it's not going to be worth what the Mustang is worth now. If you look up these Mustangs uh, uh, from the 71 to 73 model year, you're going to be kind of blown away at what some of these things are, are selling for. You have them north of 80 grand. Now, not to say that this car I'm driving is worth that because this, this is all original. It's got some issues. It certainly has some uh, work to be done on it. But it's a brand new car and then it came to the Murphy and uh, it was just donated. And anytime they come in for the first time, I kind of take them for a spin, try them out, see how they're running. You want a brand new car, you got to get very focused. You got to stay focused. But, but most of the time, cars don't show up in the possession of people when they hem and haw. You got to stay focused. And that right there, that is the focus of today's vlog, people. Nothing ever gets done until you focus. Uh, you could be a little bit over here, a little bit over there. It's called a pivot. When you stop pivoting, 
and you stay focused, then cool stuff starts to happen. You just want to make sure that you don't pivot out of the direction that you're going. You can you can pivot in within your focus group. If you pivot too much and say like, oh, I, I want I want this muscle car, but I, th I think I want a Hyundai, then it's hard to make that decision. So you, you got to stay focused. It's a very, very important in success to stay focused. Hey, that's all I got time for people. I appreciate you watching. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And, and if you haven't noticed on our Facebook page, we've been having some changes going on. We had some uh, weird things happening and we developed a whole new page. All that's getting cleared out now. So come join us. Come hang out with us on Facebook. Friend us up. I've stated it and I've stated it again. And I'll state it again and again and again. Our job here on the blog is to help you guys improve your lives through what you love. Kind of seems to make sense, doesn't it?